Hi guys, I am going to show you how to properly use Zoho CRM. I am using Zoho One here and it includes Zoho CRM along with 40, maybe 50 other applications. Um, but for a clear understanding, I want to kind of walk you through this. The four main modules that you want to pay attention to, the ones that are the foundation of everything, are the leads. So you see the leads here, contacts, accounts, and deals. Those are the four. And sometimes there are businesses that feel they don't need them all, but I'm going to explain the importance of each because it's best not to skip them than to skip them because you feel like it's an extra step. If your system is automated, there should be no extra steps. You know, everything should care for itself. Um, Everything should come into your system as a lead. Leads can come in by web forms, any integrations that you've set up, social media, or you can manually enter them. But either way, leads come into the system, into the leads module. All right. Uh, you can make this module look however you want. Out of the box, it may have a lot of fields that you don't care about. You can move those to a section called unused fields. You can add custom fields that you do need. Whatever the case is, you can customize this. Um, at some point in your process, there should be a point where you convert that lead. When you convert the lead, the information will flow to the other three modules, which are the accounts, the contacts, and the deals. Any information that was collected while it was a lead that pertains to the company will go to accounts if it's B2B. If it's B2C, it would be that household or that person's name. So each person can have an account or each household can have an account. And then any information that pertains to the person or the individual, that will go to the contacts module. All right, so it will flow there. It should flow there automatically when it's converted. That will be just basic information. So name, phone number, email address, those type of things. You can have several contacts that belong to a single account. You can have a company, which is an account, and it can have three or four people that you um, talk to that you would, you know, have listed as contacts under that account. Uh, so yeah, you'll see here we've got contacts here. So you can see there are two listed for this account or company. And you can, again, you can customize this however you want. There are plenty of ways to, you know, move things around. But I, I will say, I will say this, be simple when it comes to accounts, just as you are with contacts, make sure that you're not adding a lot of extra fields that you, that are unnecessary. It should be simple. That company's name, address, company phone number, that type of thing. Uh, any information that you need to track for the entire account should go under accounts. And then deals is the transaction. It's the um, purchase. It could be a potential purchase. So maybe it's not completed. Maybe it's in your pipeline. That will go to the deals module. This will be um, where most of your custom fields would go normally. I know there are exceptions and I know every business is different. Uh, but there are some fields that are here initially that you may not need or may not care for. You can move those into the unused field section. So if I go into the back end and I click on deals and the layout, I will see this section here called unused fields. If I drag and drop anything or if I remove anything from here, it will go to that section. All right, so there we go. You can always put it back. If you have data in those fields, when you delete them and you decide you need that data, just drag and drop the field back over and the data still there. The data didn't go anywhere. So no, no worries there. Um, but yeah, you would go in and put all of your custom fields here. One thing that people don't understand 
is you have to adjust the lead conversion mapping once you add all those custom fields. So whether you've added fields to accounts, contacts, deals, you have to adjust the lead conversion mapping. And that would be here. It's basically saying the information from this field needs to go where? Does it go to account, contact, or deal? Or more than one? In some cases, it could go to more than one. Like this one, you'll see city, goes to account as the billing city and it goes to contact as the mailing city you know obviously you can change whatever you need to change because I think that's that's default but you would go in and make sure that all of your fields from the leads module have somewhere to go because once you convert it you cannot reverse that you can't go back and unconvert so you have to make sure that it has somewhere to go before you convert you can also make the system automatically convert based on a certain trigger so that it's not a manual process um, and then the last thing I would say is try to avoid creating additional layouts only if they're absolutely necessary and most times they're not as necessary as we think they are if you simply need certain people to only see certain fields then you could use layout rules and those are, um, you know, where you can show fields based on a certain, um, you know, something that's chosen or not. Uh, that's one of the ways you could do it. You could also create a canvas view that is used by certain roles in the system. And I don't mean to get complex, but I do want you guys to know that there are ways instead of creating those layouts, because what happens is it can cause issues down the road because you've got all of the you know data going to all these different places if you create an additional layout in accounts but you don't in contacts and deals you have to go in and specify in that lead uh, conversion mapping where that data should go and when and it can get confusing um, so keep that in mind and then um some of the do's and don'ts and you can find a diagram in our ebook that we just published and it's called a simple guide to customizing a simple system using Zoho it's absolutely free you can download it and it's got a diagram there that will show you um, how the flow should work in Zoho CRM um, not speaking to other CRMs because I understand that some of them are different but do make sure that you pay attention to the do's and the don'ts in that diagram as well uh, because that will help you avoid some, you know, pain later down the line because I, I see it a lot. I see it a lot. All right. If you guys have questions, drop them in the comments or you can join our Facebook community, which is a private group. When you download the ebook, you'll receive an invitation to our Facebook group if you would like to interact with us or with me and uh, ask your questions and collaborate with one another and things like that. So we're there to help each other. There's also a link at the very bottom where you can join our academy for free, which is learn.successfulsolutions.com. I think there's also a course there that kind of walks you through um, getting started with Zoho CRM. So be sure to check that out as well.